All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about this, the um, E-pipe mod from Smock, and this is the box that it comes in. I'm honestly not sure why I show the box. I don't think anybody really cares about the box, just the actual product. So with that in mind, I'm going to open this up, and this is what it looks like in the box. Um, so yeah, it's a kind of a weird looking device. I just happened to be at a vape shop checking some stuff out and oops, I apologize for any camera shake there. Um, and I, I saw it there and I've been thinking about getting something like this. So as you can see, it's a little difficult to get out. There we go. Um, well, I guess I got this far, so I might as well show everything, right? Uh, there is absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just a box. So this is going straight into the garbage now that I have done this. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna mess with it now. So this is what it looks like. Almost looks like a fire hydrant. Um, so yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of cool looking and I've wanted some sort of e-pipe mod type device because I thought that sounded kind of cool and... Um, yeah, uh, luckily the guy was wanting to get rid of the ones that he had, so he actually cut me a pretty good deal. Um, this, I think they normally retail for about 40 bucks, and he gave me two, uh, two free batteries basically with it, so, um, it's like 42 something after tax. So, in my opinion, they got a pretty good deal. Um, so this is where you put the battery in, so you got your bottom cap here, vented spring and the battery so this these are the batteries that that it takes these batteries are tiny so it's like an 800 ma 3.7 volt um these are efest which i i like efest uh, i think efest is a good brand um i don't know what you guys think about efest but i mean they're kind of the industry standard at this point it, it seems like so you just put your battery right in there Screw this back on. There's a lot of tension too on that spring. That is like, there's not a whole lot of give in this spring. So you really have to, really have to push together. And of course I'm like behind the camera. So it's a little bit more difficult. Probably won't be this difficult for you guys. Cause you guys won't be trying to film at the same time. So just keep that in mind. There you go. I'm trying to do this like around the camera. Um, so yeah, uh, this, okay, so here's the fire button, and one thing I will say right off the bat is this is really hard to press. Um, it takes a lot of pressure to get that, to get that button down, and I'm not sure exactly why they did that. I don't know if they thought it was going to be in people's pockets or what, but this actually does come off, and I have not messed with it. There might be, you could probably take this out. I, I, I'm not good with stuff like this so I really try not to mess with stuff too much but um it's unscrewing so we'll see what happens this could be a total disaster all right so yeah there you go so you could probably change that spring out right there uh to something a little bit better or you know do something to the spring to make it you know not quite as stiff but you know, right out of the box, it's, I mean, yeah, it takes a lot of pressure. I was, I was actually really surprised. I wasn't expecting it to be that hard to press down. I mean, it's not like it's impossible or anything like that, but it's just like, it's just really surprising how much effort it actually takes to press down on that button. So, all right, so we'll get this all back together and we're all set. So, yeah, actually, for some reason it feels a little bit better, but not by much. Anyway, so, uh, you know, here's your connection. So you got your typical, like, 510 and Ego threaded. So I could take something like this clearimizer here. And this is actually the one that I've been using mostly with this. And, you know, just because I think aesthetically I like the, uh, the way it looks. So you can see that it's working right there, or you can probably hear it. Um, you know, I just, you know, I think that's a pretty clean look, just the all chrome, the juice in the middle, but you know, you're not, 
you don't have to just use clear misers. You can use an actual tank. So something like this eye clear right here. You can use this as well. Now, I personally, I don't, a lot of people might like the way that looks, but you know, as you can see, this is wider than this. You're probably not going to find a whole lot of things that are exactly this width that are going to make it look really clean and aerodynamic, but I mean, it works. That's the important thing. So, I mean, you can, you can vape with it. So you're only going to get 3.7 volts out of it. Um, there might be EFES batteries that, or, you know, not just EFES, but other brands that maybe are like four volts or something like that. But really for me, the 3.7 is that is pretty good. I mean, that's, I don't, I don't vape much higher than that anyway. So for me, that's totally okay. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into two videos and this is just going to be sort of like a look at the actual mod and then I'll do another one where we're kind of looking at, I mean, we're going to be looking at vapor production, but it's mostly, that's mostly going to be a look at the clear miser really. Um, but I also want you guys to see kind of how it looks when you're holding it and vaping it because to me it looks kind of awkward and there's really not a good way that I've found to really hold it, but you can, it can be kind of stealthy at the same time. So I, I suppose that's kind of cool. So people might actually like that. So, uh, oh, and here's another thing too. It doesn't always, it doesn't really stand up very well by itself. Of course, it's going to make a liar out of me now, but you know, it does that a lot, you know, so you really have to kind of play around with it to get it to where it stands up. I found, um, and this clear miser is a little bit heavier than maybe a plastic one would be. So that's going to, uh, you know, that's that's going to make it a little bit heavier on that side anyway. But um, yeah, just know that going into it. If there's anything on it, it's going to have a hard time standing up. But we will, I will go record the uh, second part of this and splice these two videos together to make it one nice video. Okay, back again. So here's the way it looks in your hand. as you're using it so it's um it's not terrible it just kind of it just seems a little bit awkward um there's really no good way that i found to really hold it um except for this way that really feels all that comfortable like you know this way I suppose it's okay but it doesn't really i don't know it doesn't really feel that great this way You know, I don't know. It's just one of those things that I feel like, you know, it's, um, you know, this way is really seems like the right way to hold it, you know, some variation on this. But, um, you know, it's to me, it's like, you know, you're paying money for it. So you want people to see it, you know, because it is, you know, it does look rather cool, but, you know, you're really covering it up at the same time for people that want to be a little bit more stealthy about it and not as obvious um, which is probably why you're buying something like this. Well, we'll get into who's buying this uh, in a little bit, but um, it's not really a bad thing that it's so covered up, you know? So, you know, um, since, you know, I already brought it up, who's this really for? You know, I think that this is one of those things that really, to me, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of gimmicky. You know, I think it's going to have like a really, there's going to be a really small market for people that want something like this. Um, you know, for me, I just thought the idea of like a, you know, a pipe mod was kind of cool. And granted, I did want something a little bit more that looks, or a little, that looks like a pipe a little bit more. You know, so it, this doesn't really look, resemble a pipe that much. But, um, you know, it is small, it is compact, and it gives me uh, enough power so to me, that's a plus. That's, you know, a reason to buy it. Um, for other people, you're really going to need two batteries all day because one battery is just not going to last you that long if you're really vaping a lot. Um, yeah, that wasn't very good vapor protection off that, was it? Yeah, I haven't used this tank in a while, to be honest, so probably not performing all that great anyway. I'll switch to the other one. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, 
you're not going to have, this isn't going to appeal to everybody, you know? I mean, I like the fact that it's so small and that, you know, it, it is a mod. It is giving me a lot of power. And it, it's, to me, it's, you know, I'd rather use this than like an Ego battery, but really at 3.7 volts um, and 800 ma, you're really, you're getting more power with like an Ego Twist. You know, you've got more variation on your voltage. Um, both up and down, and generally you're getting more battery life. Um, you know, because those, I think, you know, you can get like a 1500 ma or something like that um, for less less than this. So really it's, um, it, it's really just for somebody who likes the look of it, you know, and the pocketability of just this by itself. You know, with an actual, you know, tank on there, a clear miser, yeah, it'll still fit in your pocket, but not comfortably. Um, not like an Ego would, because you can just throw that like in your back pocket or something and just have it more or less out of the way, although you wouldn't want to sit on it. Um, so really, I think that, you know, if you like the look of it, then go for it. Why not? You know, you're going to dig it probably. But, um, you know, I would say unless you're going to get this for really cheap, like I feel like I got a pretty good deal. Uh, if I was paying... Fifty dollars or forty or fifty dollars for the mod, and then bought the battery. Had to buy the batteries separately. I probably wouldn't have done it. But the fact that the guy was throwing in two batteries for free and discounting the price of the actual mod, um, to me, I thought that was a good enough deal to actually do it. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, if you can look at this and say, "I really want that," and you have the money to spend, then then go for it. I think it performs pretty well, actually. But obviously, like I said, there are some drawbacks. You know, uh, most, you know, the more common batteries are going to be about 3.7 volts. And, um, you know, you, if you vape higher than that, you're going to have to find a more powerful battery. Uh, the batteries will run out quick, so you're going to need a couple. And you're going to need to charge them both before you leave the house if you take this out with you. Uh, it is rather heavy, so um, it's not super light mod. And the button is really stiff on this thing. And uh, it really takes some effort to actually press down. So, if you're cool with all that, then absolutely this is for you. Um, for most people, I don't think this is really for you. I think the money would be better spent on something else, whether it be a better tank or, you know, more e-liquid or just like a, you know, an ego twist or something like that. I think that you would be better off. So, um, but yeah, I mean, this is something that I'm going to continue using and uh, maybe not using all the time, but, you know, something that for right now it's fun, it's new and... Um, you know, I mean, I do dig the way, way it looks, but, um, yeah, look around, see if you can find it for cheap. Um, if not, if it still seems a little expensive, then don't even bother. Um, it's not, it's not like a must have and it's not something that everybody needs in their, um, you know, vape arsenal or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just something that's sort of a, just kind of a, a fun thing to have. And that's pretty much it really. I mean, it, it's functional, but the end of the day there's much better products out there for cheaper so anyway uh thank you for watching and have a good night